FBI Portland seeking additional victims after woman escaped makeshift cell in Klamath Falls, Oregon. The FBI's Portland field office is asking for the public's help in identifying potential victims of an alleged violent sex assault offender who has lived in at least 10 states. 29-year-old, Nagasi Zubiri, aka, Sakima, Justin Heitch, and, Justin Kwasi, is in federal custody for interstate kidnapping after a Washington woman escaped his home in Klamath Falls, Oregon claiming she was kidnapped, sexually assaulted, and locked in a cinderblock cell. According to court records, on July 15, 2023, Zubiri traveled from his home in Klamath Falls, Oregon, to Seattle, where he solicited the services of a prostitute. He then posed as an undercover police officer. The victim told investigators that he pointed a taser at her and placed her in handcuffs and leg irons and put her in the back seat of his car. He then traveled roughly 450 miles with the woman, sexually assaulting her during the trip. According to the victim, once he arrived at his home in Klamath Falls, Oregon, Zubiri moved her into a makeshift cell that he had constructed in his garage. The cell was made of cinder blocks and a metal door installed in reverse so it could not be opened from the inside. Once Zubiri left, the victim says she repeatedly banged on the door and was able to break the door open and escape the room. She was able to flag down a passing motorist who called 911. Klamath Falls Police Department obtained a search warrant for Zubiri's residence and found the makeshift cell described by the victim. Zubiri fled and was located in Reno, Nevada, where he was taken into custody after a brief standoff with local police. According to the complaint, this woman was kidnapped, chained, sexually assaulted, and locked in a cinderblock cell. Police say, she beat the door with her hands until they were bloody in order to break free. Her quick thinking and will to survive may have saved other women from a similar nightmare, says Assistant Special Agent in Charge Stephanie Shark of the FBI Portland Field Office. We are fortunate that this brave woman escaped and alerted authorities. Through quick law enforcement action, we were able to get Zubiri in custody the next day. While she may have helped protect future victims, Sadly we have now linked Zubiri to additional violent sexual assaults in at least four states, and there could be more. Zubiri has lived in 10 states over the last 10 years, and FBI investigators have reason to believe there could be additional sexual assault victims. The FBI's investigation has extended to multiple states where Zubiri previously resided between August of 2016 and today. Those states could include California, Washington, Oregon, Colorado. Utah, Florida, New York, New Jersey, Alabama, and Nevada. Victims may know Zubiri by the name, Sakima, and it is believed he may have used several different methods to gain control of his victims, including by drugging their drinks and impersonating a police officer. The victims are often threatened with retaliation if they notify the police. If you believe you have been a victim or have any information concerning Zubiri, aka Sakima, Visit fbi.gov slash victims or call 1-800-CALL-FBI-1-800-225-5324. You can also contact the FBI Portland Field Office at 503-224-4181, your local FBI office, the nearest American embassy or consulate, or you can submit a tip online at tips.fbi.gov. The FBI would like to acknowledge our partners assisting in this investigation, including the United States Attorney's Office, District of Oregon, Klamath Falls Police Department, Oregon Department of Justice, Oregon State Police, Reno Police Department, Nevada State Police, and the FBI Las Vegas Field Office, Reno Resident Agency. A criminal complaint is only an accusation of a crime, and a defendant is presumed innocent unless and until proven guilty.